Well, good morning. This is Williams from Williams Philippines, and today is 3:15, 24. Yeah, gee, thanks, tax theft day here in America. At least Texas doesn't have a state income thief. I only got to deal with the federal one. Yeah. Because we all just love our thieves. And isn't that uh, kind of one of the ways the world goes? What gets me is uh, I was watching a video about an hour ago or two at most uh, about the uh, lady over there in the Philippines. Uh, she was talking about, uh, uh, you know, the scams are running on uh, condos, foreigners, you know, charging them more, skin tax, cono tax. Hey, it's really saddening that all these folks want to run scams on people. But hey, if you call them a thief, when they're being a thief, that is supposedly, yeah, not right. They're losing face, but aren't they losing face by being a thief? And that's where the dishonor is. But hey, somebody calling them out for being a thief is that person being disrespectful and honorless? I don't know. Because uh, to me, you know, what I'm used to is, uh, you know, if you're going to be a thief, well, you don't steal from people, you steal from businesses. Otherwise, well, you're just stealing from poor people. Uh, and, you know, that's kind of, if you're not going to steal from businesses and you're stealing from people, that's dishonorable. You know, they do have a thing called honor among thieves. Well, thieves are supposed to steal from thieves and businesses, not people. And especially not small people businesses. But, you know, hearing all these small, you know, businesses over there trying to tax a cano. Yeah. And the only reason I'm even thinking about this is because I ran across that and then had to look at today's date and realize today was government thief day i mean tax day, tax day mm -hmm, yeah because yeah it's that day of so i'm already irritated about taxes and then to hear somebody talking about cono tax i don't know it's wrong Theft is theft, and none of it's good, yet we're supposed to be uh, nice to people who are stealing from us personally. I'm thinking, you know, if I catch somebody cono taxing me, I'll just call them out on it and walk away and tell them, hey, pst, I'm not going to do business here anymore. And if that hits the whole market, Oh well, more markets. Philippines are full of them. Next town, please. Yeah, it might be rude to take and say, hey, can't do that. But uh, it's rude and wrong to steal from people. And that's what cono tax is. Uh, I guess I'll just have to go to places that... Uh, fly the little price tags everywhere. That way I can get a right price. Which means a bunch of people won't get money from me because, yeah, they're suffering from somebody else's being, you know, a tax collector. <laughs> yeah. A tax thief. I don't know. 
maybe I'll change my mind when I get there, but I doubt it. Uh, I've had that kind of thought. I've thought of taxes as theft since I was a teenager and I got hit for my first theft by taxes when I was a kid. I don't much cotton to the idea of people stealing my money from me. Just saying. Uh, I worked for it. And if somebody didn't work for what they get, you know, ain't right. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to say I, I haven't uh, done stupid on stupid street, because I have. And I regret a lot of my problems from stupid street, and I wish I hadn't have been there, but, well, I had to go through what I had to go through to get where I am today to be the person that I am today. And since I actually like who I am today, and I'm proud of me now, I had to go through the nightmare that I went through to get to where I am today. So, yeah, I accept the fact that I did stupid on stupid street. I also accept the fact that I grew up, changed, and started building my life back, becoming the better person that I am today. And don't get me wrong. Uh, <laughs> just a little bit ago had somebody come in here and well they were being a bit of a pain in the butt and rude didn't say anything to them just carried on doing what I had to do to get them checked in and taken care of and sent to their room because well they're not worth the stress and the headaches and the crying of it that they would do to, you know, if I'd have took and said something to them. They just weren't worth the effort. So for me, yeah, I've grown up. I don't need to take and throw gas on the fire just for the fun of it. Although some days I really do want to throw gas on the fire just to watch the flames. Some days I really do want to go out there and play on Stupid Street. But I've grown up enough to know that, well, bumpers hurt. Stupid Street is not a good place to play. Just saying. Uh, and yeah. Well, had a, I don't know, had a comment, uh, crunch uh, talking about find a good one I hope so if uh, that happens yay great if it doesn't yay great uh, there again dancing in the middle of the street <laughs> I don't know uh, and as for family yeah they can always find you course you know family friends you try to keep them in contact because they are family and friends so they will know how to get in touch with me uh, I'm definitely gonna hate the first month of uh, getting over there and uh, getting phones and such set up I mean I, I really <laughs> yeah I'm strange. Uh, I have three phones that have phone numbers that you can call and get in touch with me. And I carry them around with me. I have a fourth that doesn't have a phone number on it, but it has, uh, it has uh, authorization, uh, two-step authorization stuff. Good morning. Excuse me. Uh, okay, I think I'm recording again. <laughs> All right, sorry about that. Uh, had a guest come in. He even had a puppy. Yay, good puppy. Uh, yeah, phones. So it's gonna be fun setting up uh, phones over there and getting back in touch with everybody. Uh, I would need to 
try to consolidate that down to just two phones and yeah that's gonna be some fun but at this point I don't need to do that uh, I'll try to get that figured out between now and then but uh, yeah I'm probably gonna try to get it down to the one A14 and the little i7 or iPhone 7 I don't know I might try to get that upgraded I don't know we'll see but uh, yeah it's old but hey it works same thing with the other two well the other one of the other ones is another a14 so we'll see uh, yeah gotta get that figured out but uh, yeah phones <laughs> try to consolidate down and get it set up so where I have just two of them carrying three I don't know I don't think I want to carry the fourth one it's pretty old but it's actually a good phone it actually works real good I, I don't know as a backup we'll see but at this point yeah me trying to figure out electronics uh, and they're talking about you know weight on the the bags coming over getting on airplanes oh my gosh <laughs> how am I gonna be able to carry everything with me I mean I, I don't even know where to begin I mean desktops laptops tablets phones I got so many batteries I don't even know where to begin and I need some. and then I've got the AA and the AA or AAA you know AA and AAA batteries I need for this that and the other things I've got double A's that are being used in uh, one part of the microphone and then double A's use, being used in something else or triple A's being used in something else so I gotta carry those I gotta have a charger I, I don't know I, I may just decide to give all those batteries to my aunt and cousin Edith uh, yeah let them have them for their place and deal with it then but then yeah I don't know like I say I've got monitors uh, good monitors you know why do I want to leave a 4k monitor over here and buy a new one over there <sighs> I don't know I really just don't know <laughs> This is all those things you got to get figured out between now and then. So, yeah. Uh, always a lot of thought processes go into packing. In a way, I wish I could, you know, get back to when I was young. You know, back when I was uh, traipsing around as a frame carpenter, living in various hotels. I carried a, you know, a little duffel back and a backpack and a, a tool bag that I kept most of my tools in. And then, yeah, a toolbox on the back of the truck. And pretty much could carry my whole world sitting in the floorboard of my pickup truck and the toolbox and not have to worry about it. Yeah. I bought a house and I collected so much more stuff. Yeah. Fun stuff. <laughs> anyway. Back to the original thought tax day, government theft day. And yeah, they're just thieves. Uh. 
got to get that took care of and you know uh, I'll be trying to I don't know I may try to sell my house right at the end of this year that way it goes on this year instead of next year trying to make my I don't know make my uh, situation tax wise easier for my first year out but part of me says you know just take into all take the big hit right there on that first year and get you know once I'm out of here that first year will be a nightmare and then by then hopefully I'll have it all figured out on how to do it uh, because they always going to want their cut. I don't know. Part of me says, yeah, do it this year. Part of me says, no, do it next year. Uh, <laughs> had uh, one of those folks wanting to, you know, cash now for your house. And was saying, we'll lease it back to you until you're ready to go wanting to lease it back to me for more than my house payment is now. Mm, yeah, no. <sighs> I ain't about to go there. <laughs> I guess they think I'm crazy. <laughs> yes, let me sell you my house so I can pay you more for my house than I'm paying for it. And, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Do people have any logic and reason anymore when it comes down to money? This sure seems like a lot of people are really messing up finance-wise. Uh, I look at my costs on my house and what it's going to cost if I was to keep it and how much it would cost. Yes, it would make me more in the long run, but it would mean I'd have to start off with less to take and get over there with and a lot more headaches and I don't really want the headaches the tax burden in that issue is more tax burden I'm trying to avoid tax burden to Uncle Thief here in America the good part of it is is I don't have like I said I don't have a capital gains or a uh, income thief here in Texas so a lot of reasons for being a Texas citizen yeah, I love Texas. I just wish the cost of living wasn't going up like it is now because it's getting harder and harder to live on what I make. And with retiring, like I said, I'd still have to work if I decided to stay here. So I don't want to stay here and have to work until I die. I barely want to work right now. I quite honestly want to just pack up and head to the Philippines and go right now but I got enough sense not to shoot myself in the foot financially and until I actually have my social insecurities coming in I don't want to take and shoot myself in the foot so yeah uh, all that fun stuff I don't know we'll see but yeah, uh, like I say, hopefully Tuesday I get to go over and uh, sell those pieces of property. Uh, I don't think there'll be any tax burden on that, but I'm setting half of it into paying uh, her my credit card debt. And the other half will go into my uh, mutual fund. And hopefully uh, I'll make enough off of this year's mutual fund that it actually pays for the taxes, the cost of doing them. Uh, <laughs> yeah. This year I actually lost money on that because of paying to go to H&R Block and having them do it. Uh, didn't make enough money to pay for itself. But then again, I started off with very little and uh, didn't start until the end of March. So, yeah. 
just saying. This year it'll be the whole full year and uh, probably about double the amount of money I have in it at this point. So, yeah, uh, it should make enough to actually pay for itself this year on taxes at least and having somebody do the taxes. Anyway, of course, it'd been nice if I had, uh, had a, just a hair more. I try to run it to where I'm, you know, I shoot for about a hundred dollar window of what I think the taxes is going to be. This year, I had to pay an extra 80 because I was a little short on my uh, money going in monthly to pay for the taxes this year. So I owed 80 bucks this year. Uh, Last year, I think I was like $50 back. Um, yeah, it, it, I'm floating right there along between owing them 100 and them owing me 100 Because, well, I'm not trying to get a bunch of money back that I could have kept in my pocket to start with. And, yeah, if I give them extra money, they get to draw interest on it. Now, don't get me wrong, $100 is not a lot of interest money over a year, but, well, I don't like giving them anything extra. I would rather be $80 down than $10 over. So, yeah. I'll get my money to them and do it that way. So, yeah, taxes. But yes, today is April 15th, Government Theft Day. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to try to get this uh, spliced together with the other one. So I've got to upload it, download it, and post it. Uh, fun stuff, fun stuff. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, uh... Anything else I was thinking about? Yeah, like I said, uh, mainly taxes and keeping up with friends. And yeah, if you can find a good woman, it, it's a good thing. But like I said uh, on my little walkabout, there are not many of them over here that are worth investing time and energy or thought into. They're, but they've been westernized and poisoned. At least that's my opinion of it. Don't like it? Well, that's the problem between your ears. I deal with the problems between my ears. And yeah. It is what it is. Anyway. I'm William from Williams, Philippines. And I'm Fish. Later blessings, bye-bye, and, uh, well, I'm Fish, and Fish is out.